Have you ever wondered how to make an arrow in Illustrator? If your answer is yes, then you're in the right place. Hi there everyone, my name is Andrei Marius and in this same Vato Task Plus tutorial, I will show you three simple methods that can be used to create arrows in Illustrator. Before we begin this tutorial, make sure to check out Envato Elements, where with a simple subscription you can get unlimited access to millions of creative digital assets, such as music, graphics, including arrow brushes, photos, fonts, and many more. You can subscribe right now with the link in the description. The most common technique that you can use to create an arrow in Illustrator is via the Stroke panel. Just go to Window in the menu bar and select Stroke to open the Stroke panel. Any opened path can be easily turned into an arrow. Select your path, make sure that you have a stroke applied and then focus on these two arrowheads options. Choose one of these 39 options to stylize the start and end point of your path and so create your arrow. Once created, you can click the swap button to quickly swap the start and end arrowheads. You can increase or decrease the scale values to adjust the size of your start and end arrowheads. Or you can use one of these align buttons to place the arrow tip at the end of the path or extend it beyond the end of the path. Keep in mind that you can select arrowheads for both ends of a path and so create a double-ended arrow. To change the color of your arrow, all you have to do is change the stroke color. Besides flat colors, you can always use gradients or even patterns. The second method that you can use to add an arrow in Illustrator is via brushes. Open the brushes panel by going to window in the menu bar and select brushes and then open the flyout menu from this panel and go to open brush library, arrows and we'll start with arrow special. As you can see this opens a new panel with some arrow brushes. To apply one of these arrow brushes, make sure that your path is selected and then just click the desired brush. To increase the size of your brush, all you have to do is increase the stroke size. Alternatively, you can use the pen brush tool from your toolbar to create a curved arrow. To create a double-ended arrow using a brush, you could use this brush and using this arrow button, you can move to the next collection of brushes. Again, click on any of these brushes to easily apply it and if you wish to change the color, all you have to do is replace the stroke color. If you're using a scatter brush, an art brush or a pattern brush, you need to make sure that the colorization method is set to tints so that your brush is changing the color whenever you are changing the stroke color. Click again this arrow button to move to the next collection of brushes and select one of these brushes whenever you need a multicolored arrow brush. Now obviously you can create your own set of brushes or much easier you could upload one from Envato Elements. A good example would be this set of pattern brushes. Just download it and return to your document. Open the flyer menu from the brushes panel and go to open brush library and other library. Find your brushes and double click the file and as you can see this opens a new window with your downloaded brushes. To apply one of these brushes to a selected path, all you have to do is click it. The third method that you can use to create an arrow in Illustrator is via the Symbols panel. Open the Symbols panel by going to Window and Symbols and then open the Flyout menu from this panel and go to Open Symbol Library and Arrows. As you can see this opens a panel with some arrow symbols. Simply click and drag the desired symbol to add it to your design, scale it as you wish and double click it whenever you wish to edit it. So that's it for this tutorial. 
Remember to hit that like button as it helps me know that I did a good job. Subscribe if you aren't already and don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of any new tutorials. If you are looking to learn even more, you can always check out some of the many tutorials that Envato Task Plus has to offer. I'm Andrei Marius and I'll see you in the next video.